What's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Amaya Lithis, also known as Lexi. Um, if you hear something in my mouth, it's a cough drop because I did this whole video already and realized it didn't record. Anyway, um, <clears throat> uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, discuss a few ideas. One of them is female armor in video games. Um, one of them is like gendered clothing in general. And another one is um, um, a couple of things that I think uh, this game does well. Uh, just Mostly in the rambling. If you didn't see my uh, previous Soul Calibur 6 video, though, I want to um, 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 point out that when I say we're going to be discussing bikini armor, I don't mean that I'm against it. <laughs> no, quite the contrary. I want everyone to have it. <laughs> I think, um, um, you know, characters in revealing outfits is great, and I think, um, that, um, it shouldn't matter the gender of the character. Um, and, and that's one of the things that we're going to discuss. But I also think that, um, Having the option to be properly armored is also good. Um, this game <clears throat> is um, better for um, um, it's better at giving um, character it's better at giving male characters women's clothing than any uh, game I've ever seen because like you play uh, most games and it's like oh I'm playing an RPG and I found um, the armor that a uh, female character dropped and it looks different on me because I picked a male character <laughs> like it's you know to that degree and then this is like, um, I can put, um, 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 I could make this character look as feminine as I want. Like, he's got, um, like a BDSM harness. I could have put a skirt on him if I wanted to. Uh, even a mini skirt. But then, you have, like, stuff that goes in the opposite direction, though. Because, like, yeah, I can put this on him, but, um, <clears throat> there's no, um, for instance, thigh-high socks for male characters, but there are for female characters. Um, I made Gerudo Link, and I couldn't give him his, um, Gerudo top, even though there is a top in the game that looks like it, or at least looks somewhat like it, um, um, in fact, if I wanted, um, to make, you know, a female version of Link, um, I could just make the full Gerudo outfit, uh, but, um, and it would look very accurate, but, um, um, because of, you know, the issue of, um, <clears throat> just, you know, some outfits not working for, or some clothing items not working for male characters, <clears throat> that wasn't an option, and, you know, it's also the same for, like, the hairstyles, like, the hairstyles are very different, like, the, um, I think that's the, one of the most glaring things is that the men and women don't wear the don't have like 
even remotely the same hair options. Um, and I, um, am sort of, I sort of have mixed feelings about that, because on the one hand, it's amazing that we got what we got, um, because, like, how many other games have that? But on the other hand, you know, it's still very limited compared to what I think it could and should be. Um, so it's sort of, there's like two ways to think about it, I guess. But I, I, um, <clears throat> I did want to point out, um, you know, um, um, this game is not the only game in the world, and, um, there are other, um, games that, uh, have, like, character creation that's not as limited. Like, um, you can make androgynous or sort of gender non-conforming characters in um, some wrestling games a lot easier than you can in, I don't know, Skyrim. Here's that uh, Gerudo link. You can see, not quite accurate. That's uh, because he's a male character. If he were a female character, then I would have had like the stuff in fact, you know, why don't I just show that off? Uh, when, when I was doing uh, the um, Finboy ECW stuff, uh, it was pretty easy to make, like, androgynous or feminine characters um, because I didn't have any um, thing really locked to gender. But, um, um, I just want to see if Cassandra is an option. Uh, yeah, I'd rather have that, I think. There's not really much of a difference. I just what I prefer. Um, yeah, I could make that work for what I want to do. Okay. I'm making this from memory, so if there's something that's not right, I don't care. I remember, you know, I I wanted to do an episode um, of Finboy ECW, and I still might, in WWE Day of Reckoning. I made some of my characters, and I found that making my characters... Um, um, was not difficult. Um, Day of Reckoning, uh, didn't, <clears throat> um, really, uh, restrict a whole lot my, um, um, what, um, clothing I put on my characters. In terms of, like, uh, whether I wanted male, male or female clothing on a given character. But when I got to, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I tried to make Finboy characters in, um, Yeah, so like, that's immediately Gerudo Link, but that's not an option for the male characters. I can kind of see why, though, because the male characters aren't really shaped for it, but you could tweak the model. I'm also aware that just because you could tweak the model doesn't mean that anybody wants to, you know, put that much work into it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that looks right. Um, yeah, I tried to make, uh, you know, Femboy characters and this game or that game. And, uh, um, the thing about it is, though, the first game that I tried to do Finboy ECW in, because it was a, an idea that I had for a while, the first game that I tried to do it in was, um, one of the WWE 2K games. And... That game uh, did not let me make the characters that I wanted to make. There you go, Garuda Link, pretty much. Um, not exact, but it's you know the closest you're gonna get in this game. Um, and you saw my attempt at making Garuda Link in. I'm gonna try to make this kind of like the Master Sword. Um, yeah, I'm doing this backwards. But you saw my attempt that I, of of a Gerudo Link and with a male character, and it was not nearly as accurate. Um, and that's kind of annoying which is honestly you know the crux of anything I'm complaining about is kind of annoying it would be nice if I could put this character on a male character model right but um what I can do is already so good um that it almost feels wrong to complain about it. Cause like, um, like not, not a whole lot of games, uh, would, uh, let me make, um, um, this guy or this guy, you know, <clears throat> but it, it's still, you know, like, like the um it, it you know it, it's still you know I get the I, I look at stuff and how it's put together and I think you know um this is great this is fantastic but there's a lot more that uh that, that could be done um I would say that it's lacking non-binary characters but kind of not in a way because there's Lizard Man and Revenant and Malfested Fully Transformed and Malefic, which are all characters that. Oh, and Darksider, which are all. Hang on, I think Darksider is one of them. Yeah, these are all characters that don't have gender, but they're also. Um, you know, not human, or if they are, they're a skeleton. So, there's that. But I mean, like, I think, you know, just kind of in general, um, um, like, um, picture this, if you will. I select my, um, um, I don't know, my automaton. And instead of male and female being the options, uh, I have, um, um, with the way that the thing is structured, it wouldn't really make sense to have, like, a slider, but maybe, um, 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 a couple of options between of how masculine or feminine you know like, it's just a thought you know it's not necessary 
Um, and, you know, having, like, male, female, and then maybe, like, in between we have androgynous. That'd be cool. But, I think, um, that, um, um, the game that does it best is probably Elden Ring, that has body type A and B, and then you can put any clothing you want on your character. Like, but I mean, like, what I keep coming back to, though, is, you know, no matter what I have to complain about, I can do this. And so many games don't let you do that. I'll put it this way. I'm not really complaining about this game, because this game is, you know, it's given me a lot, you know? But, nonetheless, um... You know, I have some misgivings with it, but more importantly, um, just so much stuff has not caught up to it in terms of what it'll let you do with character creation. And I think character creation is great. Um, so much stuff doesn't have it at all. And, you know, some stuff doesn't need it. Like, I don't need to make my own character and... Um, I don't know, Tetris. Um, this game does something with its, um, character creation, um, that, um, a wrestling game doesn't, which is that it has you using other people's moves. Most, most wrestling games, at least. Let you build your own unique move set, and this game is like, oh, you are a clone of some other guy, um, and that's fine, but I feel like, um, and I, and I also am well aware that like letting you build your own move set is a pain in the ass, but I'm just saying, like, you know, like as in terms of like, um, um ways that you could um, make it more in-depth or whatever. That's just, you know, one sort of thought that I had is, like, you know, it'd be cool to have some variation with that. Um, um, but also, um, what's another one? Oh, I, I remember when this game came out, people were complaining because they didn't add Heihachi's movesets because they wanted to make um, melee-focused characters, and they couldn't. Um, or, or rather, um, they wanted to make um, unarmed-focused characters, and they couldn't. But um, I think, you know, like, you don't have to put Heihachi as a character in it to do that. You, um, you can put, like, um, some Tekken movesets in there, and, and you don't, they don't have to be playable. Like, um, Paul Phoenix, Kuma, um, Nina Williams, and I think that would be enough. You know, just, just enough to have a choice of, you know, do you want uh, a male character that moves kind of male-ish? Or, or do you want, like, a very obviously, like, seductive female movement? Or do you want, um, a bear? And I, and I think uh, that would be cool. And optionally, you could, um, have fist weapons that, um, um, are strictly aesthetic but, like, you could have, like, brass knuckles or a guitar or a push dagger or something. Or, like, a very small dagger. Where if you happen to do a hammer fist, it looks like you're stabbing. Um, you know, the, the, and the, those are, like, you know, general ideas. But I uh, think uh, one thing I want to mention is that, like, the 
character creation in this is very much as a f focused on aesthetics. And I think it does that really well. I just think, you know, there are, like, some things that um, it might be, you know, sort of missing. But, at the same time, you know, I'm talking about, you know, like, what? It, wh why can't I put, like, um, thigh highs on my male character? Meanwhile, this shirt that looks like it would go perfect with a skirt does not. <laughs> like, like, like. Because it, it, if you were to put it with the wrong thing, the bottom of it just clips. So I understand, you know, there are um, certain things that don't work right. Um, but I also think, um, and I don't think they're lazy for this because I know it's hard. I don't want to come across like I think it's lazy because it's not, right? It's choosing not to put in um, extra work. And, you know, games take long enough to make as it is, right? I get that. But I think still it would be nice to have um, more options in the direction of um, you know this character is uh I've decided he's a bullfighter. Okay, let's get this started. Fine, I'll fight. Battle one. Fight. <laughs> yeah. Character creation. Pretty great. <laughs> Editor's note. Edit out most of this video. In a cursed castle hall, warriors dance in a masquerade of death. I am beautiful. I'll give you a lesson in humility. I guess the main reason that I think um, that it um, matters to have um, you know, the ability to make um, you know gender non-conforming characters or to not have um, outfits like you're looking at be the only options for female characters is cause um um you know for one thing people are you know in like a better mental state if they can like see themselves in things but also you know a big one is um video games are meant to make money and, um, uh, if you, um, let me put a male character in a dress, I will buy your game. <laughs> like, that's, like, a big one, but also, you know, if you, um, you know, like, like, to, to expand on that, you know, if you have a game where the only, um, um, like, options available for, um, women is, 
to um, wear skimpy clothes, then I don't think women want to buy the game. But also, you know, um, I think, um, you know, like, I think, I think, you know, the skimpy clothing options are good. I just think, you know, walking them to one gender is not good. But yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna end it here, this video, and I'm gonna, um, go ahead and, uh, do something else. Bye.